Did you wake up this morning dreading the idea of mowing the lawn or you just don't have time to do it? Well, today we're gonna to be unboxing and reviewing the Dream Robotic Mower A1. This is a paid sponsor review by Dream so that I can show you the capabilities of the A1 mower. Let's get to the unboxing. Well, would you look at that? These jokers put a box in a box. Ta-da! We'll say I'm a little excited. This is the smallest box that I've had so far on an AI robot mower. So supposedly it's got everything in it. Check out this ASMR. Oh yeah. Oh, there she is. Dream. The A1 comes as a complete set. You have your base station and charger. You have some grounding screws. You have an additional pack of razors. You have the instructions. And of course, you have the Dream A1. Well, let's get the price right out of the way. The Dream A1 comes in at $24.99. I'll post the link of the products in the description of the video. The Dream A1, it's a perimeter wire free and antenna free robot mower. And the best part about robotic mowers is they manage themselves. They're designed to mow specific assigned areas of your lawn. And when they get low on battery, they return to charge themselves just to go right back to work. The A1 can mow up to a half an acre of space and it's capable of mowing 10,700 square feet per day and is rated for slopes up to 24 degrees includes a rain sensor, has an IPX6 waterproof rating to allow for easy cleaning of the device, and comes with a cutting deck that's 8.6 inches wide with cutting heights that range just below 1.2 inches on up to two and three quarters inches. And the cutting heights are all managed through their application. It comes with easy removable and replaceable cutting blades and an optional link module, which allows for total control of the robot mower without use of Bluetooth or your local Wi-Fi network, which means that you can run it remotely. Now here's what's got me excited about the product. The A1 uses 3D high precision LiDAR instead of an antenna to map out your entire area. Now, if you're not familiar with LiDAR, it stands for light detection and ranging. It's basically a remote sensing method that uses laser light to measure distance and can also be used for obstacle detection. And I imagine it's going to be very accurate. Now the A1 is said to have a detection distance of up to 70 meters and a 360 degree by 50 nine degree omnidirectional wide angle that allows the A1 to see your landscape in like every direction. As far as installation goes, it is ridiculously easy. You put the base station in a nice clear area where the robot can actually get to it and you plug it in, that's it. But I kind of feel like something's missing because it didn't come with an antenna. I'm kind of shocked right now. But Dream actually manufactures robot vacuums and they've been doing this a very long time and they have a very efficient algorithm and me and my buddy were just talking about this the other day how awesome would it be if they took the vacuum lidar technology and put it into a robot and voila here we are now as far as setup goes the only kick of the road that i had was i didn't realize that the lidar actually has a cap on it that you have to take off right here Ta-da! <laughs> Setup's pretty easy. I downloaded the app, set up an account, created my boundaries throughout the lawn. The app allows for multi-zone planning, meaning you can separate the front yard, the side yard, and the backyard with its own areas for customization settings of each and every zone. You create paths to each one of the zones to connect them so the robot doesn't continually try to mow in areas where there's no grass. Now, as far as the app goes, the app's super user-friendly. It's really easy to navigate. Any, anybody just opening it up shouldn't have too difficult of a time. I took some time to set up the mower settings the way that I wanted it. The things that I'm focusing on is setting up my rain protection and frost protection delay times. I changed my mow height to where I wanted it. I turned on obstacle recognition and set my recognition height to where I wanted it. And lastly, I changed my scheduled mode daily and turned on my favorite feature which is the auto change mowing direction after every mow, which changed the robot mow pattern by five degrees to avoid rutting and channeling in my lawn. The installation was as promised. It took about 15 minutes from start to finish, but keep in mind, some of that time was just because I had to move this camera around so I could show you guys at home how this actually works. Now let's get to mowing.
Here we are about 10 days later, and I want to give you my take on the mower. If you're the type of person where looks matter, as far as styling goes, this is one of my favorite designs. The robot absolutely looks like it's out of the future. It's got carbon fiber inserts and it looks fast, not even going anywhere, but considering this robot was made for small to mid-sized lawns up to half an acre, I like the fact that it's a compact unit. It moves around the yard with ease. It could turn in and out of tight spaces without any problems. The robot mower was very easy to set up. So if you're the type of person that doesn't feel very techy, this product is very easy to use out of the box. The fact that you don't have any antennas removes a lot of issues and I absolutely love it. So far, it's been a set it and forget it type product with no issues. I set it up, I've had it running multiple times every single day because I don't feel like 10 days gives you a lot of time with a product. Let's dive right into the LiDAR based obstacle avoidance that the Dream One has. It's really built to sense an obstacle that has a working height of four inches or higher. You can dial that in a little bit lower than that, but for the most part, it's going to sense obstacles that are four inches and above. Now, when Dream made the claims, the LiDAR was capable of mapping up to 70 meters from the tiny little LiDAR on the front of the mower, I thought it was a little bit far-fetched. I mean, how accurate could this LiDAR system really be, right? Now, if you've ever wondered what it's like to look through a robot's eyes, do check this out. You can actually see a 3D map of your property through the app. I can see details through this 3D map of my neighbor's yard across the street as well. And the nice thing about it is it shows you that the LiDAR is super functional and it's not just a sales marketing gimmicky thing. And the nice thing about Dream though, is they've been selling LiDAR based vacuums since 2017. I'm not super shocked that out of the box, it's been a good experience considering Dream's history. Now as far as cut quality goes, it cuts real straight, real thin. Keep in mind, these are razor blades, so they're gonna have a nice clean cut and you should probably replace these blades about every four to six weeks. And they made it super easy with their easy replaceable system. Now I would like to add this mower is extremely quiet. You can run a day, you can run a night, doesn't really matter. Matter of fact, it's mowing right now in the background. You probably haven't even heard anything, even with the sensitivity of this microphone. If I were to pick out a few things I'd like to see change in the future about this product, First off, I'd like to see a cross-cutting feature, almost like a checkerboard pattern where it goes over the lawn twice. I feel like it gets a nice clean cut one time. They do have a feature where you have efficient cutting and standing cutting that changes the speed and rotation of the mowing, but I just don't feel like it's quite the same job. And this is me being picky. I'd like to have a little bit more control over some of these options. So for instance, the auto changing pattern when it finishes mowing and it's gonna change the angle. It's currently set at five degrees. Really like to see the option of being able to change that myself between five and 20 degrees so I can change the randomness and have a little bit more control over that. Ultimately, I don't have a lot to complain about given the fact that out of the box, there really hasn't been any issues. Most of these concerns that aren't really concerns that I have are software related and giving Dream's history, I'm sure that these are all gonna be in firmware updates at some point. I'm really looking forward to the future. I program the A1 to mow every single day and the most satisfying part of it is these stripes. I'm laying some pretty sick stripes every single day. Take that, Joneses. I'm gonna post a link and a discount code in the description of the video. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna keep dating this little machine and uh, post an official review in the future. But as always guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hit me up down in the comments down below. You know I'd love to help you guys out. So in the meantime guys, it's the Pest and Lawn, Jinjo. We're slaying lawns.